Hey everybody, I'm Fabian for Liberty, and I'm going to break down to you right now one of the biggest risks the global economy faces, okay? It is, of course, derivatives. Derivatives are a literally a time bomb. When you think about the mushroom cloud, think about the mushroom cloud of a nuclear blast, but it's really a derivative blast over the global economy, because that's, in essence, what could happen with derivatives. Now, many of you know... Um, that there are over 1.4 quadrillion dollars in derivatives, which are really kind of like side bets on almost anything. Um, and the way that it's supposed to work is that they'll always balance out because there's always winners and losers, if you will. Okay, so eventually, the way they think about it is that it will eventually balance out. Um, I think that thinking is somewhat flawed. We've seen that already pay, play off when you have this kind of like daisy cutter, daisy chain type event that happens. It's why a few years ago I did a video where I said the global economic collapse is assured because all of these banks, all these mega banks, smaller banks, they're all, and even sovereign nations, they're all interconnected via derivatives and via massive amounts of fraudulent debt. Now, that's just the point. The majority of these derivatives are fraudulent bets that really are hedged or put on by the big mega banks but yet the American people or people around the world are in essence stuck with whatever, you know, if those bets go bad, right? So if the bets go do well and they make money, of course, the American people or people around the world don't make that money. But if they go bad, we have to pay for it, okay? That's the criminal cartel that has hijacked the global economy. Really, I care about America uh, that have hijacked the republic, quite frankly. That's exactly the way they operated, operate. Now... About $441 trillion, or about 400 to $500 trillion, of that derivative bubble. Now, keep in mind, 1.4, 1.5 quadrillion in derivatives, about seven to 800 are just U.S. alone. So the U.S., of course, is leading the world in derivatives, which isn't really something to be too proud of. Now, out of about 400 to 500 trillion of those derivatives are rigged, or excuse me, are linked to interest rates, okay? So this is a couple reasons why. Um, I often hear people say, well, if real estate, if interest rates go up, the real estate market will collapse. Typically spoken from people that are absolutely clueless about the truth behind the real estate market, because I will acknowledge, historically, that's how it worked. But let me ask you this, when you have top billionaires in the world top big mega banks that are working through hedge funds buying hundreds of billions of dollars of worth of real estate around the world, do you really think those people that are now actively buying, leading in buying in most markets, I mean literally setting records in 2013 alone and mostly every metro market across the country with buying real estate with cash, you think those people are all of a sudden going to lose everything because they didn't know that the derivative implosion could happen at any time, yet those are the same institutions that are investing and also are participating in that derivative implosion or that derivative market? Of course not, ladies and gentlemen. The fundamentals of this economy, everything you think you learned 20, 30 years ago about, about, the, about the economy, 5, 10 years ago about the economy, has fundamentally changed. It is a new world. It is a 21st century of investing of the way the world works, okay? So here's how I see this playing out, because eventually interest rates will go up. There's no question about it. They will. And likely it'll result with, you know, some kind of, uh, uh, some kind of event that directly challenges the U.S. dollar. It's what I called the global economic reset. Look, a month ago when I'm brought in by some top key uh, real estate hedge funds and private equities to speak to a 100 of their wealthiest clients and talking about the global economic reset and breaking down exactly what that means based on info that a lot of these other hedge fund managers are getting from literally people at the White House, people at the Federal Reserve. I mean, remember, it was John, it was Hank Paulson who, prior to the collapse, calls in a group of hedge fund managers, private equity fund managers, in essence tells them, listen, the economy is going to collapse. I want you to know for you could hedge your bets and you could basically make money and help have some money left over so that we could help restart things with some of these failing companies like Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Okay? 
the word's already out, okay? The word's already out that the dollar is on its way out. Is it going to happen next week or next year? I don't know. Nobody knows. Is it going to happen? Yes. It's happened six times before in the last 500 years, or about 575 years, where the economic, the, the global world reserve currency was lost. When that happens, you will see rates in America, before and after, surge. Of course they will. And they will lead to an implosion of this fraudulent debt, or this fraudulent derivative game, right? That will blow up. But you think the bankers that are participating in that care? Absolutely not, because you and I will be responsible for paying it. Okay, just like we saw with the subprime and not just subprime, but credit worthy borrowers, a combination of roughly two trillion dollars where you had a 75 percent default rate across the board. And guess who paid for it? Of course, the American people paid for it. All right. One quick other note before I just wrap up that whole derivative type uh, thing is let me just tell you that in the first week of raising the debt ceiling, we had three hundred and seventy five billion dollars worth of debt. If we continue at that rate, by February, when they're supposed to really raise the debt ceiling, we'll be at $22 trillion worth of debt. Interestingly enough, they didn't even raise the debt ceiling. They just basically said, hey, you know what, let's just erase the debt ceiling. Spend as much money as you want. We'll reconvene in February, and we'll see if we can figure out a better plan. Why did they do that? They did that because they know the economy now can only be fueled by cheap credit created. Cheap money created by Bernanke or whoever else the hell is going to create it. And that money is being injected into the system to keep things propped up. Specifically, so they can keep up with the charade that the economy is recovering. And I'll tell you what. I bet you this year we'll probably have a really good Christmas season. In fact, I'll make that prediction now. That Christmas season and the shopping is going to do a lot better than it's had recently because of all this phony money that's going to be created between now and February. But more importantly, they're going to use that money to keep interest rates super duper low. And here's what else is going to happen, I believe, uh, and based on you know people that I talk to and everything else, is that when this derivative bubble does implode and the American people and people around the world are stuck with all this fraudulent debt, right? They're going to take all that cash that they have, that they've made, all that money, and they're going to use it to buy up every single asset that you could imagine. They're going to buy up all the real estate. They're going to buy up as much gold and silver. They're going to buy up all the farms from local farmers. They can't afford to pay for it. They're going to buy all the companies that go out of business as well. They are purposely rigging this game and manipulating this game. And I'll tell you right now, the only ones that survive, the only ones are people who are entrepreneurs who actually can realize this, know about this, have some contingency plans, and can operate in the new virtual economy by they themselves being able to operate virtually from anywhere. Not stuck in any country, not stuck in any city, not stuck in anywhere. Right? Something that you could operate from anywhere. And there's few companies that lend to that. Uh, there are several actually now in the prospects of the internet. But one last quick point before I wrap it up here. The derivatives of in related to interest rates are close to $500 trillion. Those eventually will blow, okay? The big mega banks that are now fueling the housing boom through these hedge funds and private equities that are buying real estate like crazy and all these other wealthy families that are buying real estate like crazy, prior to this derivative implosion taking place, what you're going to see is what I've talked about now for well over a year, the pump and dump that I have been mentioning, okay? You'll see government begin to give out loans like candy. What's a perfect example or what's a sign to look for are loans that will be given to properties worth under $100,000, more specifically under $50,000. There are tens of millions of homes in America today valued at under $50,000 in pretty much every metro market around the country. Maybe not in like New York City or Los Angeles, but all across the Rust Belt, all across the country. But there's no financing for those. Eventually, they will be financing for those. And when you see those loans being given out like candy, that's when you know we are on the precipice of the new economic collapse. I'm Fabian for Liberty. Thanks for watching. I'm out.